guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going fossil hunting and I thought I would take you guys with me. So it is currently freezing, so it's wind and rain forecasted for today. So it's going to be horrendous at the beach, but I've dressed for the occasion. So I've got this very woolly face covering instead of a face mask because I thought that'll keep my face and ears nice and cozy. But um, I thought I would bring you guys with me, but I'm going to show you my outfit first because it's quite amusing just how much I'm wearing. <laughs> So I've got my salad pets on with leggings underneath, then I've got my boots, I've got like four layers on up top and then I've got my hat and gloves. So hopefully I should be nice and warm to find lots of ammonites, maybe. <laughs> first fossil I found was this really cute little brachiopod. I just thought it was really sweet just being worn by the sea so I had to share with you guys. Then of course I found an ammonite. So this was the first one I found and I was really excited to see if maybe the other side of it had anything interesting on it. So we had an attempt to get it out. It was in a sea-worn boulder so you never know what they're going to be like really but it looked promising because you could see the outline of the whole ammonite so I was really hopeful but unfortunately this ammonite had other ideas but I'll let you guys have a watch it just didn't want to behave so we were tap tapping away and it's quite cool actually it went, within these rocks you can also find minerals so when we were trying to get this ammonite out you'll see in a second um, once the rock pops in a minute there you go there's this like hole with like a mineral in it and uh, those minerals can sometimes be really pretty and pyrotized with a really nice formation so you never know what you're going to get when you're hunting these fossils here so it's quite fun because you can hunt fossils and you can hunt minerals so it was a nice mixture um, but I was really excited because I found this ammonite like straight away once we walked onto the beach and I was just like oh imagine if it was like beautiful and came out in one piece but if you watch here they're gonna pop it out in just a second I think so we were tap tapping we wanted it to pop in one piece this is me doing my part with my hammer that's about all I did to get the ammonite out <laughs> uh, I forgot how long this video is that I filmed that's bad of me but there we go so it popped and it was just a fragment unfortunately so it decided not to come out in one piece but the fragment was still very pretty in itself this is my terrible filming skills there you go so you can see it's got the nice ribbing on it but it just wasn't wasn't what we wanted we wanted a nice whole ammonite but that's what we got so and that's the mineral that they found in the pocket as well which was quite cool in itself why am I just filming the floor? There we go. <laughs> so now it's my turn. So this is another ammonite I found, um, which looked really promising. You can see me here just trying to pick off the rock because it's an in quite a soft matrix, these ammonites. So they are very easy to prep. So this is me tap, tap, tapping with my hammer, just trying to get it out. And you're going to witness me murdering this ammonite in a minute because it just did not want to come out in one piece. And probably because I was so cold, I was just whacking away trying to get it out. But... Yeah, sadly, it had a different agenda to me, so you'll see in a minute I crack this piece. There we go. It's The crack is forming, and wait, it's going to pop in a minute. <laughs> Ta-da! Just like a piece of cake. But uh, I wasn't finished there, you know, a crack is one thing, but I have glue, so I was like, I'm just going to keep going, see what it's like inside, is it worth me taking home and fixing up? But um, yeah, it just goes downhill from here, really, so... I'm tapping away, I then drop it in a puddle, so I can't even find what side I'm working on anymore. <laughs> so this is me trying to work out which way it joins to the other piece to know where to hit, because I couldn't actually see the ammonite in that piece. Um, but yeah, there you go. Not, not amazing, but that's what you get sometimes with fossils. They're not all perfect, which makes them even better when you find them. But here's a really cool coral piece I found. So it's almost like pyrotized, and I just think it looks really cool in those sorts of colors. Um, so I just thought that's really fun. So something different as well. And here's an imprint of what would have been an awesome ammonite. Like, look at those ribbing. But um, sadly, the sea decided to take that one. But yeah, it happens, doesn't it? And I mean, look at the size of that ribbing. Like, this one would have been a chunky one. 
Like I would love to find a chunky doorstop at some point. Oh, and here's a jellyfish. So I like past and present creatures. Um, so unfortunately there was quite a lot of jellyfish around. You'll see of all different shapes and sizes, but I found it quite interesting. So I thought I would share with you guys in case you also wanted to see. Um, here's another one. There were quite a few, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and this is me collecting not just fossils, but sea glass as well, because I just collect everything but that's just me <laughs> and another one <laughs> but i think they're quite interesting to see like this because you don't really get to see them like that oh and this was a rock i thought that looked like a dragon's egg um i know very geological of me but um i just liked it and then this is a shark egg case because that's always fun to find those little things i love to see what gets washed up and then this is a fossil i don't actually know what it is i think it might be a burrow of some sort but i thought i would share it with you guys in case you knew and then some more shell fossils because i just love all types of fossils but i thought this one popped quite sweet so i thought i would share with you guys oh and here's a nice video of me just giving you a nice panorama view of where i am so here we have one of the minerals you can find. So you can find this awesome like pyrite, also known as fool's gold. So this is it in the rock, but I did manage to get it out. So you'll see it on its own in a minute. I'm just filming the rock for you. There we go. So that's what it looks like out. So it's a really nice mineral, actually. Um, I was quite chuffed to find some really nice non-fossil pieces. And uh, I've got my colour changing nail varnish on. So when my nails are pink, it means I'm cold. So um it was a cold day. <laughs> so here's some more minerals that I found. So I really like uh, these ones because it's almost like a radial kind of pyrite. Um, I just think it's a really cool form of minerals really. So I went a bit crazy with this kind of style and this is how you find the radial like pyrite. You break open these nodules and inside you can see like this really cool design. So this is me showing you it. And of course the one I tried to break open for you doesn't have the same formation as the other ones and half of it went in the puddle, but yeah, you get the idea. They're inside these nodules, which I think is really cool. So yeah, this is my terrible filming of me just not getting in shot. I was very cold. <laughs> so these are some better examples of what you can find. So I just think these are so beautiful and I just love how they formed. I don't know if they'll last very long because of the pyrite, but you never know. And then these are some cute little fossils. I think that's an uh, echinoid fossil on the left. It almost looks like a button, but I think it's quite cool. And then some more cool minerals. <laughs> oh, and another imprint of what would have been a mega ammonite, like... I just love looking at the ribbing on that, like it would have been so chunky, um, but sadly the sea beat me to that one. So here I found a sea urchin. I rarely find sea urchins, so this was so exciting for me to actually find. Um, it's not perfect, but to me it is. I just think that's so cool, like look at that. So I found quite a few different fossils on this trip, so I think it's great. Oh, and another imprint of an ammonite. I'm great at spotting the imprints, but I would love to spot the actual thing before the sea destroys it. But uh, this is an actual ammonite, actually. So it needs a bit of work to get the middle exposed, but it's in one piece and I really like the ribbing on it. Like, it's cool. And another little project to do whilst I'm meant to be revising. Oh, and another jellyfish. God, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> I think this one's quite cool though. Oh, and so I did find a Nautilus fossil. Now, this I was so excited to get out because it was like sea worn, but I could see that it was there. And this is me tap, tap, tapping away. Like it, I put in so much effort to get this piece out and it did not behave. Like you can just watch me suffer. And once I start using two hands on my hammer, it's because my right arm is getting really tired because I'm just whacking away. Um, but unfortunately the footage of the actual North Lloyd, once I get it out the rock, decided to like glitch and go a bit weird, but I've still included it, so you'll see it in a minute, but it just didn't look great, like the preservation just wasn't as nice as I was hoping, and it didn't come out in one piece, which never helps, and this is me being a very bad camera woman, like, who wants to see my leg? So this is what it looks like, I know it's very glitchy, so I apologise, um, I, my camera just decided to have a paddy, but you can see the preservation there just isn't what we want. Now this is an awesome gastropod, like look at that. This is one of my favorite finds from today. 
Like, I just love it. And we got a chunk of anemonite, which I always like to find as well, because I just think they're really nice to put in a pot. And this was my other best find of the day. So I found a whole one just lying on the beach like that. I didn't have to do any effort to get it out like that. And now this is me walking whilst flicking sand. I thought it just looked cool, so decided to film it. So I hope you guys appreciate my efforts. <laughs> oh, and another ammonite, of course. But this one, unfortunately, was not very well preserved. Oh, and it's an E for M gems. Yay! I didn't take that, by the way. <laughs> um, and this is some more edgy walking. Like, look at all that seaweed and boulders. Like, I just really enjoyed filming my feet. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Oh, and I did film my face. So that's a good thing. And you can see how wet I was and just how many layers. It was so wet and windy, but really good fun nonetheless. So this is me walking back to the car. So I hope you guys enjoyed my <laughs> narration. Let me know what you think, but I'll film a little snippet when I'm back home so we can conclude this vlog properly. Thanks for watching. So I'm home now and I thought I would just film a quick little snippet for you guys. So this is my favorite find from today. So it does need a little bit of work, but it's all there. I literally found this just like a pebble amongst the beach. And I do really believe in that the best fossils you can find are the ones where the sea has done the work for you. Like there's no need to be hacking out a cliff and quite frankly, that's not the way to do it. So yeah, when you're fossil hunting, you know, stay away from the cliffs. They're really dangerous. No fossil is worth that. And it's, you know, the sea reveals the fossils for us. So, you know, wait till they've been, you know, washed by the sea and then, you know, go crazy, have fun, but do do your research. Not everywhere allows fossil hunting. Some places are privately owned, some places are publicly, some places you don't have any restrictions. Other places, you know, it's just kind of enjoy what you see, but leave what you see. So just find out the permissions first and then you can always request permission, etc., and um, do all of that. But the usual fossil hunting guide is to just look at things on the beach that have already been, you know, eroded by the sea, like loose pebbles and boulders, um, and some places don't like the use of hammers and things like that so just do your research but um, that's just a little bit of advice but this was my best find and my the find that needed the least amount of work like I just picked that up and put it in my bag just like that so and the cleanup process for this should be really easy with just like a nail um, fingers crossed it all goes well so I'll work on this one after my exam because I have an exam next week. So a little bit stressful, but I thought I would film a nice video for you guys and then focus on my exam and then I'll be back, obviously. So I loved this find and then also the little gastropod you guys saw. I mean, look at that. It's just so cute. And you can see now my nails are white with just pink tips and they go white when I'm warm and pink when I'm cold. So if I like warm them up, that all the pink all the pink tips go. I know you guys are probably thinking, Emma, we like fossils, not fingernails, but I think it's really cool that they change color because I'm still kind of a child with that sort of stuff, but you know. And then look, I've got a new plant. Ah, it's not actually a plant. So it looks like this <laughs> and it's a coaster tree. These are coasters. Like I thought I just had to have that. Like, isn't that just the coolest thing you've seen? So it goes with my plants, well, with my cactuses actually but it's my coasters for my room. So I thought that's just too cute not to have. Anyway, that is today's video. So I really hope you enjoyed the style video. Let me know because I think the sound is a lot better when I do a narration um, rather than film on the beach. Otherwise I need to look at getting like a microphone, I think, or something like that because the best season for fossil hunting is winter and uh, or autumn, but it's just like, the weather does not like me filming during those seasons. So let me know what you would like and I can always get a mic and work it out. But um, yeah, it might be easier to film the voiceover at home, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you thought of today's video and I'll be back with more soon. Like and subscribe for more and thanks for watching.